Okay, so in this video, um, I'm reintroducing summation uh, with geometric series, but with sigma notation. So, when we were working with sigma notation, you need to know how to find all the information you need. So the sigma represents series, okay, so I need to use this formula at some point, this Sn. I'm going to need the first term A, the common ratio R, and I need to know N, the number of terms. So this is telling me that I'm summing from the third term to the eleventh term, where this is UN, okay? So this is my nth term. So if I refer back from this to this, you can kind of see the similarity, a r to the n minus 1. However, don't get confused, because a is not 3. The first term in my sequence is when n is 3. Okay, so the first term, a, is 3 times 4 to the 3 minus 1. So... 3 lots of 16, in other words, so 48. Okay? Then R can be found, well, R is going to be 4, okay, because I'm multiplying by 4 each time. That's not changing. The first term is. You could also spot it by going, well, if I look at the second term, 3 times 4 to the 4 minus 1. Okay, so if I plug that into my calculator, 3 times 4 cubed, then I get 192. Okay, and 192 divided by 48 is 4. So R is definitely 4. N is the number of terms in the series, in the sequence. So remember, you take the top term. Take away the bottom term and then add 1. 11, take away 3, plus 1. Always plusing 1 on the end. So there's 9 terms. Now, that's where a lot of people get confused. Surely there's 8 terms, people will say, from 3 to 11. But you're not including the third term when you count that. So, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th. So there's 9. Okay. So with that information in place, I can now say that this is equal to A, so 48, lots of 1 minus R to the N, so 1 minus 4 to the 9, all over 1 minus 4. Okay, so I plug that into my calculator, 48 times 1 take 4 to the 9, divided by 1 minus 4, which is 4, 1, 9, 4, 2, 8, 8. Okay? And that's how I work with summation, as the sigma notation, sorry, um, and how to use the formula that we've worked with beforehand in order to evaluate it.